Some of you little boys and girls may have heard of Brain Pop. It's a learning website that has animated videos on a certain subject or topic. Games, quizzes, more. English, math, some other things that I will not disclose. The two characters in Brain Pop are Tim, a teenager, and Moby, a robot. We watch it a lot in summer school. Yeah, that's right, I failed out of regular school. Shut up! Everyone seemed to enjoy it, especially me. Till that one day everything changed. For the worse, it happened last year at summer school. The teacher said we weren't going to watch Brain Pop today. Oh, I could hear the entire class go, uh? She didn't say why, but I could see it in her face. Her face was light like snow. Her eyes looked like they were about to fall out of her head and her lips were dry. Perhaps she had the chicken pox or the flu. She barely spoke and never looked at her laptop or anything. I knew something was wrong. I didn't know for sure what it was. When I got home, I turned on my computer and went to brainpop.com. I saw that the movie of the day was called Tornadoes, and it only had one thumbnail, which was weird because all Brain Pop movie thumbnails were slideshows of pictures. <sighs> Did they just skip out this time or something? The thumbnail was a black and white picture of Moby running from a tornado in the background. I clicked on the video to watch it. Suddenly the power to my house went out. Well, this was weird. Today was a nice sunny day. When the power came back on, a video file appeared on my laptop titled Tornadoes.AVI. I realized it was the same brain pop movie for the day, but how did it get onto my laptop? The video opened automatically. Instead of The Mysteries of Life with Tim and Moby, it was titled The Mysteries of Death with, along with three dots that you could fill in with something. In the background, I saw a real-life apartment building. Parts of it were breaking off and flying off screen. I could also hear an alarm blaring and thunder in the background. It then showed Tim and Moby sitting on a bay window. Through the window I could see leaves and other things blowing through the air. It's a very windy day today, said Tim. A little too windy. Moby began pointing to something through the window, beeping, if you didn't know that's how he talks he's a fucking robot what is it moby tim asked moby kept pointing shaking his hand up and down then showed a scene of a tornado swallowing cars and buildings it came across it's a tornado yelled tim moby then shows tim a note it read dear tim and moby what are tornadoes signed you going to die. Very odd. Anyway, Tim began speaking about tornadoes and how they form. I'm not going to explain about it, though. However, right in the middle of explaining, the bay window shattered and pieces of glass flew everywhere. Things in the room that Tim and Moby were in were starting to get sucked out. Come on, Moby, said Tim. We got to get to the basement. They both ran down the stairs and more things were flying around them and parts of the walls were breaking off. Annie... The little girl from Brain Pop Jr. arrived and said, Tim, Moby, follow me. They all ran out into the street as a tornado chased them. Annie began to fly. Tim, Moby, help me! She screamed as she flew back into the tornado. Annie! screamed Tim. Moby began to disintegrate, his pieces flying into the tornado. Moby! screamed Tim. Tim started to fly. He tried holding onto a lamppost, but it was too wet. His fingers slipped into the tornado and engulfed him. A time card appeared, which read three days later. It was spoken by the French narrator from SpongeBob SquarePants. It then cut to a big pile of rubble. At the top of the pile, you could clearly see Tim and Annie's decayed corpses. Their intestines were hanging out of their stomachs. Some of their arms and legs were missing. There were jagged cuts all over their bodies. Their eyes were gouged out. And there was blood all around them. Moby's severed and mangled head was lying next to them, which was leaking with black oil. After that, the video closed itself. A 
summer school ended early because of this.